of styles of draping. I mean from 1 to 5 to 325 styles. But what you need to learn is the basic style first. So let's do the basic style. So you just tuck your sari 2 inches from your navel and tuck it from behind. This is a beautiful Banarsi sari from uh, the store Kali Ghatta, which is there in Calcutta. Yeah. So after you've done this basic tuck, take a handful of material and tuck it here. If you don't understand what is a handful of material, so just tuck it like five, six inches from the, uh, you know, from where the border is starting. So this. So this is where my border is starting. Take this part of your palla and in front and you start making pleats. So this and then keep adjusting and I would really appreciate if you don't pin it up because the more pins that you use the more unnecessary holes you make in your sari. So keep making your pleats like the way I'm doing. If you already know the basic and you followed a different way of pleating your sari, please go ahead and do it. It's not mandatory for you to follow this only. But the ultimate thing is this is an easy way because it's been over the years seeing so many people drape saris. I think I have come up with this and I think for me and for my students, I think this is like easy way of wearing. This is called uh, a ulta palla in Hindi. We call it a nivi style in uh, English. And uh, see, this is how it's done. You set your palla. Now what you do is take this from here, cover your bust, bring this in front. Now I've seen most of you, what you do is you tuck this. So when you tuck this, first thing is your border. If you have a heavy thick border, you're crushing the entire border inside which is hurting you and then it destroys your border also so this what you need to do is take this from here shape it properly come in front and right below here you will take this pin and you will add a pin here with your petticoat with the sari all three together like this okay this then what you do is take the entire fab from here and you start making your pleats. Now from where should we make our pleats is also one very frequently asked question. So measure your sari till here, this is your princess line and start making your pleats from here. Okay, so you will not go wrong. Just take this and make your pleats like this. And if you think the sari has got uh, you know enough fabric for you to pleat, don't make narrow pleats because narrow pleats, the moment you make narrow pleats, you're going to tuck in here, you start looking more too. So you don't want to look fat, right? So just do this and pick up the whole sari like this, just dust. So after you've done this, just dust your sari. Look at the way how beautifully the sari is just falling. It's Banarsi, it's a little khada kapda also. I mean a little starchy fabric or uh, stiff fabric so even then if you think if you can see that the pleats are falling right it's because I'm taking broad borders and not too narrow borders so this is how just spread this a little align it from here then the rest you can spread it hold this together right below your navel just tuck this part and this is the part that you need to actually understand how it is done you all leave it like this which makes you look bulky from here so the fabric that you've pinned and just fabric that is you know down which you've pinned below with your petticoat just take that and pull look at this pull twist 
and tuck. Now pull the rest, pull your sari properly and tuck this also. So this part has to be like really neat. If you just put in sarees without uh, you know aligning them properly it will make you look heavy from your waist. So this and after you've done this, this part you can just bring it, bring this down, shape this again, pull it as tight as you can, this, then this. And you can take off your pegs and you can attach one pin here one pin here and yeah this is a navy style of draping and when you're you really don't know what to do I think this is just like a go-to drape it's very easy and looks very nice just keeps everything in place and if you want your pleats to be in place so this is how you can do you've seen a lot of belts that I use it's for the young generation. I always feel if I give young generation something which is holding their pleats in place, I will be able to, you know, pull them towards me and they'll start wearing sarees more. So this is the belt. So what I'll do is I'll just put this here. And you can always shape this according to your waist. So this is how it is. You've seen this drape is very popular with the South Indian people. They do wear this in all their wedding functions. They have that waist belt also that they carry. And this part, if you feel that you've got a beautiful palla and you want to highlight or you want to flaunt that, so you can always take this and have this in your arms and drape it like this and you're good to go. So I hope you liked it. This is how it looks from back. So this is how it looks from back. So thank you, keep enjoying my drapes, keep loving me because it's because of you I put in so much effort to give you every day a new drape. So I think you should also put a little effort, try my drapes and post a picture to me. Thank you, bye.